rid of it. Don't hit me, I dare you.
Nearly had a scrape with an iceberg a couple weeks back. Would have ruined me. Ah, you're looking for Svea. Honestly, I think the Frosteress wreck is just off the coast by the ice caves. But I'm not certain. I didn't trust him. It sounds like a good-for-nothing treasure hunter, and like he made up that story about his family. That ring belongs to Svea. The coast may look docile and beautiful, but it's just as deadly as the rest of Falskar. We don't have much lore from before our arrival, but what we do have refers to this place as the Dread Coast. It used to shield the land from the Arctic winds, and was one of the most dangerous places on the entire island. The shoreline is littered with sunken reminders of the treachery that lies behind those calm waves. It's so bad that I'm the only one who still runs a boat to Skyrim, at least officially. The shores also serve as an inlet for swarms of bandits and hired blades, ready to pillage the land and take all that we have left. But I'm probably just making it sound worse than it is. We get by. It isn't always easy, but we make do. Well, actually, no. I'm not alright. I recently found something that's brought up a lot of questions about some old friends. Two friends of my parents. They ran the lighthouse a long time ago. Jana and Alvar were friends of my parents when my mother was pregnant with me. A long time ago. They lived in the lighthouse and kept it running guiding boats in during storms or dark nights. One day, out of nowhere, they left on a trip to Skyrim. A few days later, they were supposed to return with my boat, of course. That night, there was a particularly nasty storm, and they never made it home. After they were heard from for several days, the guardsmen went up to check on him to see if they were all right. He was never seen or heard from again, and so rumors arose about that place being haunted. As far as I know, nobody has stepped foot in that place since that guard, and that was damn near 50 years ago. Well, it was all ghost tales and bedtime stories, until recently. I was walking on the beach the other day, clearing my head before running a ship into Skyrim, and I found something. In a small dugout on the beach was a sack of old coins and a letter. These coins, the really old, must have been on that beach for ages. The letter was from my parents. I think it belonged to Jaina. Why would they hide something like this on the beach? What happened to them? Now I really want to find out. I would, but I'm constantly running trips between Falskar and Skyrim. Being the only tradesman left in this land doesn't exactly leave me the free time to go ghost hunting. Plus, what if Jaina's spirit really haunts that place? I hate to ask it, so I'll leave it as more of a suggestion. If you were to take a look, I'd be in your debt. I've always wondered what really happened to them, so finding out would be nice. Just be careful, and let me know if you find out what happened to them. Oi there, name's Wolf. I'm the captain of the ship docked here. I wanted to thank you for helping out. Damned bandits snuck up on us. Now, I also wanted to offer to you the service of my boat. If you need to travel between Falskar and Skyrim, as long as I'm in port, I'll take you. However, it won't be free. I wish it could be, but travel simply costs too much these days. It'll be 500 gold a trip. I know it's a bit steep, but I'll shift my schedule for your convenience. Hopefully that's alright. It's the best I can offer. The trip takes less than a day. Just hop on the boat whenever you need to go and I'll get things in order. You can even have the top bunk. Safe travels.
you're the special one that came through that old gateway, aren't you? I bet Skyrim is amazing. A dragon? No. But if I ever do, I'll fight him and show him how tough I am. I wish they were real. That'd be so cool. It's not so bad. I usually have plenty to do. Though, I wish there were more sometimes. My dad says I can't go into the forest alone, because it's full of bad men who will try to hurt me. And some farther parts of the coast are full of nasty creatures. But I find some places to play. I should be, but my dad won't let me play in the forest because of all the bandits. And I can't play on the beach because of the mud crabs. Normally I just throw rocks at them until they leave. But lately, they've been much bigger than normal. Hey, if you got them all to leave, I could play on the beach again. You don't have to, but it sure would be nice. Then I wouldn't have to sit around here all day. It's just west of here, near Sandy Shell Hollow. Thank you for what you did. We are getting ready to make a move. I couldn't let them do anything to pray on Gala. Please, accept this. It's the least I can do. All right, if you insist. It's mostly covered in ruins and hollow reminders of this land's dark past. There's the old lighthouse, supposedly haunted, Dragonbone Perch from the time of the dragons, and Grimrot Grotto, where pirates used to birth. Until the mountain shifted and it collapsed, sinking the fort above and trapping the men inside. They say the crew still rolls the caverns inside. At last, there's the ruins of Holter, an ancient Nordic fishing village. Gods know how they survive living on the coast like that. A long time now, we got married almost 10 years ago and had Galen shortly after. Our anniversary is coming up soon. I do need some help getting Freya's gift. I don't suppose you'd be willing to give me a hand, would you? Good. You look like the kind of person who may enjoy what this entails. I want to get Freya something special for our tenth year together. Her mother used to always wear a brilliant sapphire necklace, a gift from her father. She wore it all the time. When we were just kids, her parents were killed by highwaymen. Her mother must have hidden the necklace because the bandits didn't take it. A guard gave Freya the necklace and she kept it close. However, the bandits must have figured out she had it because they broke in a few days later and stole it from her. It was all Freya had left of her parents and it never was recovered. I want to give Freya some of those memories back and make a replica of that necklace. It won't be the real thing, but I think it will mean just as much to her. Rengar of Amber Creek is capable of crafting such a fine piece. However, we will need a very special gem to do so. I need you to go to Grimrot Grotto and recover a priceless sapphire, then take it to Rengar. He can then remake the necklace, and I can surprise Freya with it. The tricky part is that the gem is believed to be guarded by the crew of the sunken ship that once carried it. They still walk the cave, but they aren't living anymore, if you understand what I mean. If you do all this and give me the necklace, I'd be forever in your debt. The grotto is down the coast, far to the west.